Right, okay folks, this is my very first unboxing on this channel. I purchased this yesterday, the 22nd of December. It is an FX, FTX Carnage 2.0 brushed edition. I haven't opened it yet. It's all still factory sealed. So let's go ahead and have a look what comes in the box. Here's some of the specs on the box. Some nice blue metal bits and pieces were on it. Metal diffs. 540 size motor with an heat sink. Aluminium shocks. And what, it's a 550 brush motor. 99% ready to run. 3 gig, 3 channel 2.4 gig radio. Waterproof 60 amp speed controller. Now I do believe you can run this on 2S and 3S. I have got a couple of 3S batteries which I've got for a plane because I will be doing all sorts of stuff on this channel. I'll be doing planes, helicopters, cars, boats, anything car seat which is budget. I would say at a maximum £150 and below. I want to keep this channel to the budget stuff for the people out there who want a budget and want to enjoy the hobby. So let's have a, look, a close look at the truck. Right then folks, right then folks, this is how it comes packaged in the box. Looks pretty nice. I've had the red one as you can see. I do do a blue as well. That looks like your controller. So I'm doing this one under folks. So there's my truck. It's quite heavy. And then a little bag of some bits and pieces, which I'll open shortly. So right folks, be right back. I'll unpackage everything and we'll have a closer look. Let's look at the truck. I think it looks, looks all right in the red. Yeah, that's your radio. It is a th three channel radio, one for your throttle, two for your steering, and a third momentary push here. Those are your trims on the top, and your power. So you've got your throttle trim and your steering trim. So, all right, take these pins off. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom, boom. And these are metal, metal terror shocks, yeah, all metal. Metal drive shafts, turnbuckles, motor with a blue heat sink on, which has got a little mounting so you can put a fan on it. Fully adjustable suspension by the looks of it. And it comes with a battery I'm not sure what size it is it is what size battery is it as you can see I'm new to this so I'm fumbling about like a, a, a buffoon this is an 1800 milliamp 7 point 1800 7.2 volts nickel metal hydride Right, I'll see if I've got some batteries for the controller. I, um, I believe this takes four AA batteries. So I'll put some in. See if it's got a little power just to do a quick little test. Make sure everything works. And then as soon as it brightens up outside, I'll go up, out and we'll do a couple of runs and see what it goes like. 
Right then folks, I'll put some batches in. Bind it straight up, just switch it on as you'd expect for a ready to run truck, just straight off. All working. Steering seems pretty responsive. Have a quick yeah. A bit of a delay on the reverse, but that might just be the battery low. As you can see, push it back. See, nothing, nothing, that's all the way back. Give it a sec. Same again, nothing on the way reverse. Let it off and then do it again. I'll, look, I'll have a look on that, have a look online, see what it says. Might just be battery low. So, there you go, that's a quick look of the. There you go, that's a quick look of the truck. And as it comes, uh, I'll, I'll put it all back together, charge the battery up, and I'll be back shortly. And we'll take it and run outside. Right then, folks, here's the first run of the Carnage 2.0 this is running the standard battery what it comes supply with so they ain't got much room here so, but let's see what it can do That's flat out. goes okay not as fast as i thought it would be but i've seen other reviews and they all say the same not that quick on the standard nickel nickel metal hydride batteries but like i say i will be going through this on this very shortly 